Um, coup de trois. Coup de trois is a uh, is just a uh, the one two three uh, on the wheel. A lot of people can do it. Um, a lot of beginners, it's kind of an easier thing for them to do. Um, but uh, we're going to do a little change up here. So we're going to do one two three, which is down, back, and up. So down, back, up, down, back, up, down, back, up, down, back, up. Down, back, up, down, back, up. gives you, if you go down to the full extent and back to the full extent and then up, it gives you that the, the, the positions for all of the one, the two, and the three. So, um, the, there's kind of a trick to change that up, and that is to start the one on the bottom. Um, this is not something that you'll find that you do in regular playing, but it's a, it's a practice uh, lesson and it gives you um, a good ability to, to change the positions on, your, uh, on the circle as you play so that you can understand more easily that there is no fixed position. You are playing the, the coup where you want it, not where um, the, the kind of your hand finds it. You want to find, you want to put the coup exactly where you want it. So this coup de trois means that, you, uh, that this upside down coup de trois means that you start at the bottom. So the one is in the center in the basically what would normally be on a coup de cut on the, on the three position. So back, push, down. Back, push, down. What you'll find is and give you the positions, the actual positions on the wheel, for a coup de six. Now, I'm not going to say that this is going to give you the ability to play the coup de six just because you've done this, but rather it gives you the positions uh, where the, where the um, coup should be for a coup de six. Uh, so you've got one, two, three, and one, two, three from the one, three, three from the top, one, two, three from the bottom, and what you end up is with this six-pointed star pattern that gives you the coup de six. Um, there you go. Uh, give it a practice.